Good morning. My name is Yaki Silia. Um, I'm the head of African Futures and Innovation, and I'm going to speak to you today very briefly about uh, prospects for South Africa uh, beyond the ANC's National Elective Conference, which starts on Saturday. So I wrote a book um, middle of, that was published middle of this year called uh, Fate of the Nation that set out various scenarios for South Africa. I'm going to use that as a reference point. Um, I expect that uh, probably Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa will be elected uh, as President of the ANC and of South Africa over the weekend. But let's use the three scenarios in Fate of the Nation as a point of departure to talk about where we think South Africa is headed. The um, first scenario, which I called Ma uh, Mandela Magic, is where um, uh, Salur Maposa is elected with quite a substantive majority um, in, uh, uh, on Sunday, on the 17th when the elections occur, and his reformist faction within the ANC therefore triumph. This is a scenario within a matter of days, no later than the first week in, in January. President Zuma and the cabinet, uh, uh, current cabinet is recalled. Uh, this is important because only a recall of the current cabinet and the appointment of a new Minister of Finance will allow South Africa to escape a downgrade by Moody's in uh, February when we next present uh, South Africa's national budget. Uh, once South Africa is downgraded by Moody's, uh, it would be impossible for South Africa to achieve the 3% growth rate that President Cyril Ramaphosa then uh, had uh, committed to. So, Mandela magic, um, a win for the reformist uh, faction within the ANC, a comfortable win for Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, President Zuma, and is probably recalled very rapidly, uh, probably in the first week of January, and we see a new cabinet um, and a new minister of finance uh, that makes it possible for South Africa to grow um, and possibly achieve the 3% uh, target that Sir Ramaphosa set out. Over the longer term, this is a South Africa that returns to its average growth rates of about 3.4%, which is the average growth rate that South Africa has had since the, the Second World War. The ANC gets about 59% uh, during the 2019 elections. It manages to hold on to Gauteng province, but it needs a coalition with smaller parties to do so. This is the best outcome in the short term for South Africa. It is uh, certainly the best outcome for the ANC. It is the worst outcome for the opposition parties, the um, EFF and the Democratic Alliance. Um, the tripartite alliance probably splits in this scenario because one of the requirements to take South Africa forward is probably greater uh, labor market flexibility. A second scenario, which I call Bafana Bafana after our national soccer team, you could also call it the Springboks at the moment, is the bumbling along scenario. This is where um, Sol Ramaphosa wins, but by a small margin um, on the 17th of December. Therefore, once the um, president of the ANC has been elected, uh, well, in actual fact, the president um, and three or four of the top officials, there will be a break. And under this scenario, um, um, Nkosa, Dr. Nkosazana Lamini Zuma is appointed, uh, is nominated from the floor as deputy president. She is therefore elected as such. Um, and South Africa ends up with a compromise, divided cabinet, um, where two factions, the reformers and the traditionalists, still remain um, at odds with one another. The ANC South African cabinet is uh, divided. In this scenario, um, Zuma is probably recalled uh, middle of next year, uh, maybe uh, second or third quarter, uh, because for the ANC to go into the elections with uh, uh, President Jacob Zuma as leader of the ANC, uh, leader of the uh, president of South Africa, would be disastrous for the party. In this scenario, the sort of bumbling along um, s uh, scenario, the ANC gets about 53% in the 2009 elections, but they lose Gauteng, uh, probably to a DA-led uh, coalition. Uh, this is a mediocre outcome for South Africa. We are downgraded um, by Moody's. Uh, we uh, grow over the longer term at about 
uh, two, just over 2%. Uh, and um, the ANC really will struggle because it, having lost Gauteng on top of the Western Cape, 50% of the South African economy will be under, the, uh, under opposition control. A nation divided is the third scenario. This is a scenario where, which I think is unlikely, but it's, it's not impossible, um, where there are considerable money changes hand, hands uh, in the days that, that lie ahead. And um, uh, the uh, leader of the traditionalist faction, in Kosozana Dlamini Zuma, triumphs uh, at the elections for the ANC. Um, Salura Maposa probably is not prepared to serve as a deputy president under this scenario, the traditionalist faction triumphs. This is a, a scenario where early next year or maybe immediately after the elections, the ANC splits. The um, reformist tradition, the re reformist faction within the ANC, consisting largely of Gauteng, ANC and so on, split off. They establish a new party. Critical here is what um, current um, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa does. If he goes off farming um, and, uh, or back to business, uh, this would mean that the ANC goes below 50%. The ANC probably needs the EFF uh, to stay in power, uh, but it's still, uh, together with an alliance with the EFF, uh, the ANC um, uh, can still be the dominant party. It gets maybe 40, 44% in the 2019 elections. But if Solar Ramaphosa leads that split, the ANC splits down the middle, and uh, South Africa enters a new era of um, coalition politics, alliance politics, and uh, things will change dramatically. This, of course, is the best scenario for the DA and the EFF, and the worst scenario for the ANC. This is a scenario where South Africa is inevitably downgraded. We are probably downgraded almost, well, the markets are exceptionally negative about uh, Dr. Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma. It's not impossible that we are downgraded literally before the end of December, but certainly we will be downgraded in, in February of next year. South Africa grows slowly, but South Africa grows under all three scenarios. Uh, South Africa has considerable growth potential. <laughs> the only problem is that if we can get government um, in a sense uh, to pull in the same direction, cabinet that pulls in the same direction, uh, things can improve. So these are the three scenarios. Um, the upside scenario, uh, Mandela magic, where the reformers triumph, Salah Ramaphosa and his faction wins. The Bafana Bafana muddling along scenario, which is kind of the compromise slate uh, approach. And then nation divided, where Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma wins, the ANC splits. It depends what, how big that split is. And if we see a complete change in South African prospects in 2019.